citizen. This is an Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive non-conformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. We do now. Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She can give us away. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. What a control freak. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. <laughs> I guess. She doesn't need our help anyway. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. All right, Dad. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Aww. Oh, great. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, None of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Okay, three, two, one, where's the oh, DeLorean? And you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Oh god, the DeLorean. Citizen Brown? Emmett? Um, do I even want to get out of this thing? He's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him? He's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! More like what you've destroyed. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. Yeah, you've inspired him, all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Can we somehow walk her onto the street? You're not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Yes! It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! 
damn it! Don't do this! You need help! Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Martin, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? <laughs> Fine, leave! Okay. will destroy it. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow-bellied stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. That's what caused the whole problem, remember? We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. How did you Still figure that no out? no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. I like that game, Sands of Time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain. Having lived in it for the past 70 plus years, once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it. Only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to... Go oh. inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. <laughs> billions. Billions and billions of life on the show. Ah, <laughs> oh, Carl Sagan. Um, well, on that note, thank you for sticking around, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. When we return, we'll be talking to younger Emmett. Because our Emmett is 70 years old. My god, he is bloody old. JJ.